Don Jr. melts snowflakes with two simple words after Sessions' blister and opening during Attorney General Jeff Sessions' opening remarks. He laid down the law. And people loved it including the president's eldest son. Donald Trump Jr. took to Twitter to discuss the initial statements made by the act. He simply said crush that in a reply to someone who tweeted out that Sessions' opening statement is what is known as a home freaking run. MAGA here is a snippet of Sessions' opening remarks. Let me address some issues directly. I did not have any private meetings, nor do I recall any conversations with any Russian officials at the Mayflower Hotel. I did not attend any meetings at that event. Prior to the speech, I attended a reception with my staff that included at least two dozen people and President Trump. Though I do recall several conversations I had during that pre-speech reception, I do not have any recollection of meeting or talking to the Russian ambassador or any other Russian officials. If any brief interaction occurred in passing with the Russian ambassador during that reception, I do not remember it. After the speech, I was interviewed by the news media, which had gathered as I remember in a different room, and then I left the hotel. But whether I ever attended a reception where the Russian ambassador was also present is entirely beside the point of this investigation into Russian interference with the 2016 campaigns. Let me state this clearly I have never met with or had any conversations with any Russians or any foreign officials concerning any type of interference with any campaign or election. Further, I have no knowledge of any such conversations by anyone connected to the Trump campaign. I was your colleague in this body for 20 years, and the suggestion that I participated in any collusion or that I was aware of any collusion with the Russian government to hurt this country, which I have served with honor for over 35 years, or to undermine the integrity of our democratic process, is an appalling and detestable lie. Finally, during his testimony, Mr. Kami discussed a conversation he and I had about a meeting Mr. Kami had with the President. I am happy to share with the committee my recollection of the conversation I had with Mr. Kami. Following the routine morning threat briefing, Mr. Kami spoke to me and my chief of staff. While he did not provide me with any of the substance of his conversation with the president, Mr. Kami expressed concern about the proper communications protocol with the White House and with the president. I responded to his comment by agreeing that the FBI and Department of Justice needed to be careful to follow department policies regarding appropriate contacts with the White House. Mr. Kimi had served in the Department of Justice for the better part of two decades, and I was confident that Mr. Kimi understood and would abide by the department's well-established rules governing any communications with the White House about ongoing investigations. My comments encouraged him to do just that and indeed, as I understand, he did. Our Department of Justice rules on proper communication between the Department and the White House have been in place for years. Mr. Kimi well knew them, I thought, and assumed correctly that he complied with them. I will finish with this. I recused myself from any investigation into the campaigns for president, but I did not recuse myself from defending my honor against scurrilous and false allegations. At all times throughout the course of the campaign, the confirmation process, and since becoming Attorney General, I have dedicated myself to the highest standards.